Hi friends, I am starting an experiment growing green onions from cuttings as well as seeds to check which method is best. Also checking whether it's worth growing green onions in aero garden or not. First I am going to cut these bottoms about an inch that I can use in aero garden. Okay, I got uh, 13 cuttings. I am going to insert these directly into pods. I am not going to use any grow medium here. Yeah, pretty much like this. To prevent the light going into the water and create algae, I am wrapping these pots with aluminum foil. Okay, the pod is ready. It's quite a bit of work, but it's fun. Right, two pods ready. Okay, I have six pods ready now with onion cuttings. Now I'm going to make some pods with these seeds. Since I am not sure about the germination rate, I'm going to add three seeds into each pod. Okay, I have two gardens ready now, one with onion cuttings and one with seeds. Let's see how they come up. It's been four days. The onions from the cuttings are coming up very nice. And the seeds also germinated. I'm seeing pretty good germination rate. Lot of seedlings coming up. It's been 14 days. Green onions from cuttings are coming up very nice. It's amazing how fast these are growing. The green onions from seeds also coming up nice. Of course, they are still at seedling stage. At this point, we can say that growing green onions from the cuttings is much more productive than growing from the seeds. I am extending my experiment by growing green onions from cuttings in a small jar with plain water. Here in this jar, I managed to place 8 green onion cuttings. I am just placing it here on aero garden so that it can take advantage of the aero garden light and uh, grow in this bowl. Here I put only plain water, there is no nutrition in it. Let's see if I can get same yield as aero garden. All right, it's all good to go. It's day 22. The green onions from the cuttings are ready for another harvest. These leaves are growing very strong. They are super wide. They are one inch wide and about eight inches tall. And I also see the flowers coming up on my green onions. Of course, I am not interested in growing flowers. I am not interested in collecting seeds. But just to show you, uh, I see at least like three flowers coming on these green onions. Green onions from seeds also grown up pretty tall, but they are thin and not even close to harvest. So growing from cuttings is super productive. Green onion cuttings growing in plain water also doing well. I see pretty nice development of leaves here. This is too early to make any conclusions. I will continue to monitor this growth. Day 28, green onions from cuttings developed even better. They put few more leaves and they are coming up very strong. I see pretty good growth from seeds as well, but they are still not even close to the harvest. Now let me show you the green onions from cuttings growing in plain water. You can see them here. I am just keeping it here for side by side comparison. These green onions in plain water are growing nice and green but they are not as strong as the ones in Aero Garden. These are pretty soft. Overall, I can say that growing green onions from cuttings in Aero Garden is definitely worth. You get pretty good harvest and pretty quick. If you can't spare an Aero Garden for green onions, then growing in plain water, leveraging Aero Garden light or keeping in windowsill is also a great option. 
Let me also show you a green onion garden I just made myself. This is just an empty cream cheese box. I made some holes here and uh, placed the uh, green onion cuttings. So inside I just placed some water. You can see the nice roots developed here. Making this is very simple. Let me show you how I did. So I just drilled a hole. Okay, once I make the hole, I'll just see if I can fit this green onion cutting. So this is not really enough. I'll just take a knife and uh, make it a little bit bigger just by gently rolling it in the hole. So this is good enough to place my green onion cutting. Awesome. So it's ready now. Just put it back. That's it. Water will not evaporate in this method. Once I add water, it goes for a couple of days. I change the water every week. Otherwise, I see some slimy stuff around the roots and the bulbs. Also, I fill only half of the tray. I hope this experiment and the information is helpful. Thank you for watching my video.